Hey y'all, it is Julian and I just want to go ahead and kind of explain if you 38 of you have already watched this video and it went crazy accidentally. I posted this video like a week ago and it immediately a ton of people watched it. Well, 38 of you watched it in like two seconds and I thank you so much. If you already watched it, just watch it again. Hit that thumbs up because none of them thumbs up actually went through the video. We had an issue with it and then basically it uploaded again and then said it was like a week late. It was crazy. This video has been, it's a really, really good video. It is our biggest storage unit we've ever bought. So I just want to go ahead and just apologize. This video has actually been uploaded twice and it, we just have issues with it. But this time it looks like it is good to go. So please, if you would like the video so we can push it out even further, the biggest and the most expensive thing we've ever bought. So let's get to the storage unit. All right, this one made me a little nervous. Straight to the point here. We bought this locker for $1,600. This was the most money we've ever spent on any type of sourcing in one spot. So it's, there's some reasons why I bought it. So let's go ahead and not, let's just cut to the chase on this one. So I'm feeling a little sick spending that much money. Let's open her up and see what we got. There she is in her glory. $1,600 in the most craziest store that wants to fall down. So the reason why we bought it, we'll just take like a quick look around what we could see in the pictures. Obviously these heavy duty shelves, we need shelves to put in our new 10 by 30 that we have. And we went to Home Depot and we priced them and they're like 250 to $300 new for these. Cause these are the bigger sections. That's like six foot, six foot. So you got 12 feet of shelving. So right here, you can go ahead and deduct on the used market, 400 bucks for these shelves, I would say. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. So right there, we're down to like $1,200. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and use those. Also the totes, these totes are the expensive totes. They're usually $10 a piece. Usually you can sell and get them for like five bucks. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 totes, say a hundred bucks in totes, easy. I think that's on the low end. We're gonna use these totes. Turns out we actually need totes. So that was another, like me saying, okay, $1,600. So now we're 400 in. So we're like $500 deducted right off the top for using basically for business use. So technically in my eyes, this is only going to be like $1,100 spent. Honestly though, there's not a lot of stuff in here for $1,100. But as you can tell right here, there is some tools. We're gonna just go ahead and start going through it like on this side. There's a ton of totes in this video. We're gonna grab like three random totes probably and go through it because we haven't grabbed the trailer yet. So all right, we're gonna go ahead. I forgot my gloves, but this is also a super clean unit. That's why I think it also went up really high. And that is plus like fees and everything that we need to do is for 1600 all in. These right here, these are like caster wheels to I would say uh, scaffolding, right? So there's four sets here. That's probably like 25 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Let's go ahead and go through this bad boy right here. Oh, you like, look. Planners. Planners. Nice. You can do that for your planners. And what is this? Watermelon juice. Huh. Those are really nice. Yeah, these are really nice. They, they're, they're like in style, right? Mm -hmm. That's, and we've been doing pretty good selling things locally. And so we'll, a lot of this stuff, like this shop back right here, super dusty, right? Well used. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't but probably like 10 bucks on the local market. This pool stick, not good, it's not good. Oh, it is good. I thought it was missing, Ugh. What is that on it? Black mold. That's not, yeah, that looks like mold. Huh, that's weird. This is a pro speed, professional choice. The other one's like stuck in there. There's another one, but it's stuck in there. So this is the only dirty thing in the unit that we could see. This is dirty and this is dirty. Other than that, everything looks super clean. Look at this. This is like a canvas. Oh, wow. Home, of, Home the of the Brave. Atlanta Braves, okay. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That is nice. There's something in it. Here. We might be tearing the back of this open. Is that dirt? Could be. Ooh, I wonder if that's, um. I don't know what that would be. Eaten by roaches, maybe? Oh, I don't, know. I don't know. There's no cool. hole in it. Yeah, we might have to cut that one open to see what's really going on in the back. Look at this little, this is right up your alley. Yeah. That will be kept. Kayla will put a, uh, something in that. 100% kept. Got a knee brace there, probably not worth a whole bunch. A water key, probably not worth a whole bunch. Some decorations here. Probably got married maybe, I'm guessing. These were $15 a piece. Hello, handsome. And good morning, gorgeous. 
This almost looks like wedding stuff, doesn't it? Some of it, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, grateful. Like Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving wise. This is, this actually looks like a real sweet grass basket. These things, we know about these because when you head down to Charleston in South Carolina, these uh, are always there's vendors on the side of the road being selling these, and they're actually super expensive. You can tell by this one is it going to be probably legit just by how it's made. We've seen the real ones. And I think this is the real deal, and they usually go thirty all the way up to like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So good keeper there. Uh, there's nothing in there but some wheels. But nice little bin. Christmas lights. Like the most randomest box ever. Got some alcohol stuff. Mm. Usually this is where you find dope, but I'm not finding... And then it's just really a planner. Oh. You can plant more stuff. Cute. This is cute for a wedding, right? That's cute. That's cute. Stuff like this is like Facebook gold to us because five bucks... Man, it's hard. Big oh, fan of shoe. A shoe popped out, but we don't have the shoe's friend. Huh? What are you? He's a loner. We got a loner shoe, Nike. In actually pretty decent condition. They think these are Reacts or Renews. If we find the other one, they're usually like 20 bucks or so. But not bad. Tons of crutches. I don't even know if you can sell crutches. Aren't they like considered medical? I love us. Aww, oh, that's cute. I have found the one who my soul loves. This stuff right here, I'm talking $5 a piece on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. So I can kiss you anytime I want. I have found the one who my soul loves. You're a big mirror fan. I am. You love mirrors. This one is a pulse of a mirror. Oh, we got like more actual. And that's actually fairly heavy. Nice frame too. I mean, how much do mirrors go for? 50 bucks? 20 bucks? Clean that up. Look at this picture. This looks like it should be in a, uh, oh, you're gonna like the stuff behind this. She's already smiling. <laughs> so that thing, that thing could be like a Picasso. Picasso? Order? No, probably not. Inspect, it was inspected. Design, inspected by 75. Oh, I don't know why I thought that was gonna be smooth. Don't touch it, there's nothing in there. Look at these, Kayla loves. There might be pictures. The old, uh, there are. are pictures. So we won't show that, but that's pretty nice. I don't know if I should put that on that. And uh, right here, look at this. Menu. This was definitely oh, a wedding. Yeah. That was their wedding stuff, so. That's cute. That is cute. They had definitely a nice wedding. It's pretty neat right here. They they really like this. Let's go ahead and get this huge miter saw. This bad boy is a nice miter saw. This is the big boy. This is not the small miter saw. This is, and it looks like in super good condition. These are the ones that had the big slides on them. So it like slides out, you can do a, what, is, what would that be, like a 12 inch miter, probably bigger. But this thing, new, is probably three, four hundred bucks, I would guess. Probably a little bit more. Cobalt isn't like, uh, like Milwaukee, it's not super high end, but it is still worth any power tools nowadays in this condition. I'd say 200 on a local sale, no problem. We have good trash bags. Oh. We love to see that, because that's, trash bags are expensive. Got another good looking level here, so they were definitely doing some home improvements. And this thing, oh, is the stand to that. Oh. I thought that this was a, um, a large clamp to hold your stuff. This is the stand to that. This is probably, now that just priced when it probably went, went up to like 350 or 400. Yeah. So, and that's the stuff we just went alone. We're probably at 600 bucks, I would say, local sales. Mm -hmm. So, that's not bad. It's gonna take a good look at this thing though. Let's get it out in the light. So this is a really nice, like super cute. This is really nice, right? That is really pretty. That is super pretty. That is, I mean, man, our furniture on Facebook Marketplace has been going incredibly fast. So you're probably talking a hundred bucks, if not more on this. Point, I'm really interested to see what's in those bags back there. 700 bucks mm -hmm. already. So we're more, we're halfway there to, to where I think. So let's go back here, take a look at these bad boys. All right, let's go ahead and go in here. This is a, ooh, oh, is this for a dog? It's for like a cat, a I cat? think. It's like a cat bag. A cat bag, brand new. I don't for know. a dog, I guess you could yeah. use it for a dog. So you just put your dog in the. Oh, huh. that's cute. That's cute, that's not too bad, right? Willow would not fit in there. Yeah, our dog would not fit in there. This is completely full. Let's go ahead and just take a look at this because you all know I love fishing gear. All the guides are there. Uh, it's called a speeder, sifter, what is that? Definitely not anything uh, 
great. It'd be a good reel for us to say, and this is a Daiwa old beef stick. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. All right, we got some socks in here. Oh, I thought that was heavy duty socks, like super heavy duty. That's the only thing in there. Don't have any gloves, so got some snuff. Let's see what else we got in here. Old Jack in the Box. Um, this stuff has been. It's a whole bunch of trophies. Oh wow. Just personal trophies. Who would have thought that that was going to be in here? Not me. No. Tons and tons of trophies. Because when you pick it up, it doesn't feel like that. Also, smell in here. Smell update. Very neutral. Doesn't smell like any type of animal. Doesn't smell like like the last unit or two units ago. Smelled like rat. Smelled like a mouse. Like we were going to see him. This has no type of scent whatsoever. And it's climate control. Climate control, which is probably, and also, I got a little bit of allergies going on today, so that's probably also running into it of the nonsense. Moving on, huge sofas here. We hate getting rid of sofas because they're a pain. We thought we might be able to sell these. And as you can tell, this one is ripped and there's like some staining. So this is 100% going to have to be. Did you pay your live bill? Didn't pay the live bill. So. This is 100% going to have to be thrown away. Um, I'm not seeing much. Oh, we got a... What is that? Oh, it's like a blanket. DeWalt. Hopefully we find some DeWalt stuff in here. Oh, look at that trunk. <gasps> Holy cow. There's more of them. Um... Um, another mirror. Very, very, very heavy mirror here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. You know, oh, it's got water in it. Yeah, That's not good. Gross. Okay, the scent has gone to a straight uh, stale mildew smell, but not bad though. That's for, cute. This is cute. This, honestly, this ain't gonna be for sale. This is Kayla and I's <laughs> new beach cooler beach right cruiser. here now. That thing's gonna be sitting out in Myrtle Beach this summer, 100%. Let's go ahead and go for this one right here. The tag is falling on it, right? Let's go ahead and get this one out of the way. We got some Jägermeister signs. Might as well get these since they're on top here. What is this? Brooklyn Brew. This stuff, easy man cave stuff. Oh, yeah. On sale, locally, $5 a piece. So right there, 30 bucks in metal beer signs. They don't seem like they're old, so not worth a whole bunch of money. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy. We already know the bin, this is heavy. Let's take a look at actually what this says on it. All right, so yeah, the bin was 11 bucks. Xbox junk. junk. No. Okay. If you look, there are a lot of electronics in here too. So let's see what's in here. Okay, I do not see a whole bunch of Xbox junk, but there is an Xbox. This is a Xbox. I'm not very good. Xbox One X. Hmm. How does that go for? Feels yeah. heavy and very expensive. It looks newer. It looks newer. So. Also, we'll be throwing the soul comps up, but that's pretty good. Um, I mean, we're probably $800 now, 900 bucks probably. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a whole bunch of Xbox stuff in here. That looks like it's it. I mean, we got the uh, this George Foreman, pretty, pretty beat up, so not worth a ton. Don't of burn money your there. foot. Say what? Don't burn your foot. Don't, don't burn your foot. George Foreman. He doesn't get my office jokes. Oh yeah, I'm not a. I haven't watched a ton of office stuff. We have a Shark Pet tool. Now these are new. Attachments to decent vacuums go for like 10 to 15 bucks. No problem whatsoever. Got a bride hanger. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. stuff right here. Oh, okay. This is a small win in my world. Batteries. Batteries. Man, batteries nowadays are a ton of money. Gift card things. We have a ton of stuff. Man, we should get out married after this unit. We wouldn't have to buy any. This looks like the stuff. We wouldn't have to Wait, buy so. anything. Is this our unit? Because this looks exactly how our wedding was uh, decorated, right? We won't oh, show that. Oh, those are really nice. Names. But these are like little um, chalkboards. Chalkboards, yep. yeah. Are they in here? The Tony Llamas. Oh. No, they're not Tony Llamas. They're they old. Are... They're Danners. Danners are still good, but these things are about in the worst shape I've ever seen. They're old military boots. So that is going to be a total loss on them. Let's do one more. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I can't leave on, on some Danner. There's something in there. That's so much to go through. I'm just, 
a little excited here. Okay, here we go. This guy right here. Does he have a... There is no... There's nothing in it, so it's a total mystery box here. Ah, clothes. Clothes can be good, though. It all depends, because we have a ton of hanging clothes right there. Hey, we got brand new stuff. Blue Mountain Jeans. 34 mm -hmm. Ah, just a little bit too small. Got some military camo. Some of that stuff goes pretty good, all depending. Polo Ralph Lauren. Okay, so stuff like this. Uh, there's some stains on it. If we can wash it, these are easily sellable. That's, you know, a couple bucks right there, five, ten dollars. New Lucky Brand. Oh. So Lucky Brand's worth, you know, ten bucks. Polo Ralph Lauren. So we might actually find some decent clothing in here. Stuff that we don't sell, we donate everything. We donate as much as we can to as many organizations as we can when it especially comes to clothing. We got some Levi's. Five oh man, thirty-two thirty-two. That's a small person. That's even beat up Levi's still, because they're sixty dollars brand new. They still go for a decent amount of money on the used market. My favorite brand right there. The resale. Carhartt. Carhartt. So Right here, this is not bad. Every time you open up, you know, only a clothing thing, you're like, oh no, this is gonna be terrible. But honestly, if you start pulling out Polo, Carhartt, Patagonia, which we haven't found yet, but maybe we will, it really isn't that bad, because that's some high resellable stuff. There's Old Navy, huh? Just a huh. nice little thing right there. Old Navy's not great, but. All right, so that's really not bad. In this, we have a ton. So this might be a two or three part series on this one again. But already we've cleared this entire space here, and like I said, with everything, we're it was sixteen hundred bucks. But honestly, with everything, we're saying like probably eleven hundred that we need to make back. We I think we've already probably made eight hundred mm -hmm. easily. So all this stuff, all these bins have to be worth like two hundred, three hundred dollars, which I think we might blow it out of the water because if you look, it is just stacked full of cool stuff. So I'm excited. We haven't looked at anything. I'm trying not to look at anything. So if you would, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because again, this will be a series like I did before. These bigger units just take us a lot longer to process. I do appreciate everybody that watches. We have the other channel, The Flip Squad, where you see how we sell this stuff locally and also what we sell on eBay. I do appreciate everybody watches. You know I will always get you on the next one. I love these stickers so much. Dino's Pizza and Pasta. Right here, it's from Everyday Clutter, and you said you own this pizza joint. I might have to come up and see exactly what this thing's about. That's awesome. And you said, I think this is your brother's Detail Pirate. Super cool, and you said the logo was awesome. That is a super awesome logo. Much appreciated, and uh, you never know. I might be coming in and eating some pizza whenever I visit that area. I, I want to go ahead and thank Steel City Flips for the dinosaurs, and the funny thing is, if you've watched one of our videos, uh, Caleb bought traffic cones and we were just talking about how expensive traffic cones were, but you found other traffic cones for us. So I much appreciate it. All these stickers will be on the toolbox immediately.